Hi, this is Russell Stanard from teachertrainingvideos.com. I'm gonna show you a great technique that we can use in Snagit to jump from image capture or screen capture, video capture, jump into webcam capture. So you might wanna introduce something on the screen and then actually do the explanation and then come back again to the webcam. Uh, in the screen at the moment, you can see that I'm actually combining the two together, but one of the most effective ways is to introduce something, then show it, and then perhaps summarize it. And I'm gonna show you how you can do that using Snagit 2019. So let's imagine, for example, that I want to image capture, or sorry, video capture, uh, a introduction to my website. So I'm gonna click here and just mark an area. So often we do this in teaching and learning. We wanna show our students a certain website, etc. Now what I can do is click here and switch, first of all, to the webcam. So if I click on that, the webcam will come on and I can now turn on the button and start to recording. Hi, today we're going to look at uh, my website and I'm going to highlight some of the features that you might find useful and are going to help you to learn a little bit about using the Google tools that you know are very important on this particular course. Press on the, the pause button and then I would now click again and now come over to image capture and now I would carry on. So I turn it on again. So let's have a look, where can you find the Google tools? If you click here, you'll see there's a whole range of tools and any of these, uh, if you click, will play a video that will show you how to use that particular tool. So if you want to learn to use Google Forms, for example, blah, 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 blah. Okay, once I finish, just click on the pause button. Then once I click on finish, click on the stop button. That actually opens up the editor. Uh, <laughs> there I am on the screen. It's going to start with a video of me. Hi, today we're going to look at... Uh, my and then if I move the video very quickly further through you'll see that it then comes over to the image capture now i can save that video immediately so click on file save as and i'll save that onto my desktop let's just have a quick look at it so we're going to call this combination because we're using both screen capture and webcam capture together let's just quickly go to the desktop here it is combination video full screen Hi, it'll be, that'll be a big at, uh, I can make it even bigger if I want to of course just simply just uh, drag out the image and make it larger but I think that's pretty big anyway and you can see that I've got a lovely uh, video capture followed by a screen capture and it's that simple to combine Combine the two together. It's a great way of introducing something before you actually start to do your screen capture. Now I know of course some teachers don't like to be on the screen but students say to me it's very helpful to start with a quick intro before you actually go into the uh, actual screen capture that you want to do. Hope you found that video useful. Please comment please like the videos, please ask me any questions if you want to know more about Snagit. I've also included below the video a link to a list of other really useful videos, uh, a playlist of Snagit. Any of the videos from Snagit 2018 and 2019, they're both completely relevant. There's been no update in the interface at all. Now, if you want to follow my work, there's really three things you can do. Obviously, come to the website, lots of different technologies covered here, as well as different themes around different technologies like Flip Classroom, etc. Another thing that you can do to follow my work is, of course, join me on YouTube. So please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click on the bell so that you also get updated when the new videos are uploaded. I try to upload videos every week. Thirdly, very popular is my newsletter. You'll get additional content if you sign up to the newsletter, any new articles I've written. You'll also find out about any courses I'm running, any webinars I'm running. Occasionally, I get some special offers on software as well. And of course, you'll also be told about all the latest videos that have been added onto teachertrainingvideos.com. And thank you very much.